Hey, this is Mike Renoir, Northwest Fight Scene, nwfightscene.com. I'm backstage with Harrison Wolverine Bevins, man. Uh, or Bevins, whatever. Be uh, Bevins, which is the way it should be. Um, Co-main event winner tonight, uh, a really strong, strong performance against uh, Chris Soul of uh, Montana. Now, uh, first round, uh, a little closer, but the second, third round, boy, you just really put it on him, uh, put it in overdrive. Talk about that fight. Uh, I knew he was strong. Uh, he missed weight. I feel that if you miss weight, that's uh, you know that's a men that's not being mentally tough enough. It's either not doing what it takes to get yourself close enough to be able to make weight, or not putting enough in the grind. Um, so I knew I would have the advantage later because I know I've put my time in. Uh, I've been working with John Jarman um, at Summit Strength, and he's just been fantastic. Uh, you know, I thought I was only in the second round when the fight was over because I still felt, you know, I still felt good enough. Uh, so yeah, it was just a really good opportunity. I've been working with Brian Johnson with my stand-up. I've been working on Evolution, Pinnacle Martial Arts, uh, working with uh, David DJ Holmes uh, on my boxing. So it's just been a great camp getting ready for this. No, uh, you hit him with a number of just hard shots. Uh, did you ever feel like you were going to drop him? Right, yeah. No, I did. <laughs> My hand hurts. <laughs> um, I hit him with a lot of clean shots, and, you know, he just ate them. And it was very frustrating because I know in hard sparring at practice, I've put people down with 16 ounce gloves on, and I definitely landed a few flush shots. Uh, you know, my knuckles were banged up to show it. I landed some really strong kicks, and he was just super, super tough. Um, you know, I didn't think his cardio was going to be that good, but we just kept going. So, yeah, it was, he's the, he was a tough out for sure. Right. Now, uh, what, you go to, is it 7 and 2 now? Is it right? Uh, seven and two or eight and two, I can't remember. It depends on what website you look you're at. You're right, you're right. <laughs> uh, they've got it, so, uh, you know, it's been going well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm on a roll. I had the setback against Justin Harrington, who is just a tough fight. Um, you know, it's certainly one I wouldn't mind having again in the future, but, uh, yeah, it felt good to get a win in the cage again. Good, good. Now, uh, anything next for you? You got anything lined up? or? Uh, Battle at the Boat. Uh, next Battle at the Boat, I'm back to boxing. I've been dabbling in boxing this year, and right. I really uh, I really enjoyed it. I really felt good. Uh, it's definitely helped me in my MMA just being uh, calm and more relaxed in the fight. Uh, so, yeah, just I got another boxing match here in five weeks. Who are you fighting? Uh, I can't remember him, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I just, you know, it's one fight at a time. Sure. Uh, as far as like moving up the ladder and things, that takes care of itself. But if you don't win that next fight, you know your next step is not up. Right. So I've just been focusing focusing on Chris, focusing on getting back into my MMA because it's been like nine months since I've done MMA. Uh, you know, so I was just very, you know, just ready to get back. Uh, it was good to get a win back in the cage. Well, you look great in there. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, any, it. Anyone you want to thank tonight? Uh, yes, I've got a lot of sponsors, just people that have gone out of their way to help me. Uh, first of all, thank Brian Johnson. He's been with me since I moved down here three years ago. And he's just, especially my striking, just really elevated to another level. Uh, Abel Guzman, he let me live at his house. I struggled to find a job and he let me live there for free. They fed me. He just went out of his way to, uh, to help me and that's, I cannot thank him enough for that. Uh, Cody Houston. Uh, was my coach got me into MMA up in Bellingham? He now runs Cage Works uh, out in shoot, where is he? Port Angeles, maybe. Port Angeles, yeah, thank it. you. <laughs> uh, and he's once again just building a strong team, a fantastic coach. Uh, John Jarman from Summit Strength. Uh, I mean, I felt like I had one more round in me. I thought it was only two rounds, and I still felt good enough to have another one. I could have gone five, uh, getting ready for this. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, Chad Sutter from Sutter Metals, he has been sponsoring me for the last year and a half and it has been an invaluable, uh, an invaluable sponsorship to me. It's, it's, uh, it helps me get to where I need to do to train. It's just been amazing. Awesome. So, and then obviously my parents couldn't do it out. Uh, Mickey and Beth Bevins, uh, you know, God, my church, it's just, I've got so much support. I sold so many tickets just within the church and having these people that want to come and, 
you know, see fights and they were just so supportive and it's amazing. Just thank you to all the coaches that have worked with me and my training partners and there were so many people and I hate that I can't like either think of or have time to thank everybody. But anybody who contributes to what I, that I've been able to accomplish, thank you guys so much. Awesome. Well, you heard it here tonight, Harrison Bevins <laughs> and uh, Cage Sport winner co-main event. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.